Today we're going to step into a research lab and see how factors such as humidity level, type of carpeting, and cleaning frequency affect the dust mite content on the carpeting. This is really important for people that have allergens because dust mites are a heavy allergen for many people. So research around what textiles and carpeting is better for them to have in their households is really important. So let's see how to do a designed experiment to uh, study dust mite content. We're going to go to DOE, and now we're going to use Minitab's new quick designs to solve this problem. All I need to know to start is how many factors I have. And we know we have three factors, humidity level, carpet type, and cleaning frequency. So I'm going to select a three-factor design. From here, I need to decide what kind of factors I have. Do I have categories for factors? A categorical factor would be something like carpet type, synthetic or wool. Or do I have continuous factors? Uh, continuous factors would be things like humidity level, where we could be anywhere from zero to 100%, and cleaning frequency. So in this case, I have two continuous factors and one categorical factor. So I'm just going to create an experiment with two or three continuous factors. Now I need to decide what kind of experiment I want to do. And this is based on what I want to estimate. Do I just want to estimate main effects and the interaction between different factors on the response? Or do I also want to look at curved effects? Finally, are any of these factors hard to change? Well, it turns out all of these factors are easy to set and easy to change. And I really only want to look at the main effects and interactions. So I'll choose that, estimate main effects and interactions. And now I can fill out the information on my experiment. So my response is dust mite content. My factors are humidity, carpet type, and cleaning frequency. Now humidity is continuous because I could have any value along a continuum. Carpet type is categorical and cleaning frequency is also continuous. My low and high levels for humidity are 30 and 70. My low and high levels for carpet type are synthetic and wool. And my low and high levels for cleaning frequency are once a month and four times a month. Now, I would also like to replicate this design, meaning I would like a little more power to detect effects. And by doing that, I can say I want to run this design in two replicates. Click OK, and Minitab has created an appropriate design for me to look at the effect of these three factors on our dust mite population. Thanks for joining me today.